We're going to take a look here at Sarah Jane Perry off the, the back forehand. Ball sits up a little bit and she plays this wonderful low kill, getting that ball into that fifth and sixth corner area, which is roughly over there. So we'll have a look at it from this angle. She sets up beautifully, and I'm going to deconstruct it as we go along. But, you know, just the way she sets up, the way she lines it up, there's so much threat and options. So again, it's not the worst shot in the world, but it does sit up a little bit. What I really like with Sarah Jane, she really engages her elbow. She really gets that up, up really well. She really cocks that wrist to get that racketed up. And from there, there's a lot that she can do. She goes in with that classic 45 degrees with the feet and the hips, so facing the corner, which I like a lot, big fan of that. And then as she hits there, ball's a little bit close to her, but that probably helps a little bit. She's just shielding it. She just makes good contact, transferring her body weight out. Notice the follow through. Notice how she keeps that follow through really flat. So the racket just starts to appear that side of her body. And she just sends that ball. Where's that ball gone? So she just sends that ball low. You know, she's obviously lining that up. And that's pretty risky, but it really paid off. She had the ability to do it. And landing that ball just next to that, that side wall. So it's then going to run really tight. We're going to look at it from the other angle as well for a technical perspective. But a lot of good stuff going on here of this deep forehand kill. So again, as she's lining up, there's that classic, classic high elbow position, really good cock position, lots of thread and options. And from there, it just feels like she could boast, cross, or do whatever she wants. Again, a massive fan of this idea. I talk about presentation. How well can you present to that shot? And as she presents well, she just throws that racket and arm downwards at the ball, and it blurs up a little bit here. But you get that sense that that racket head at that position is now facing slightly downwards. So she's got this, this leverage, this downward position, and she just flattens it a little bit. And as you see here, this is what I like about this angle. Look how she just keeps that racket face open around about there, makes contact, and just shuts it off slightly. So you notice that racket head just shutting off, just directing that ball where she wants it to go. She doesn't do a full release. And I like how that racket head just flicks back towards the target area just to guarantee that that ball goes there. So a really good position, a really good setup for you guys to try, getting that threat and options in the back, high elbow position, really nice high racket head, a lot that you can do from this position, and then a bit of technical closing the racket face just at that point, aiming low, sending that ball off in that direction, and win you a lot of points from there.